Hi, Cello Choir. All right, welcome to summer session of Cello Choir. Um, we are going to today play and talk about on Tuesday, uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, one of the most recognized beautiful melodies ever to have been written um, from, of course, the movie Wizard of Oz. So uh, we're going to play this in D major. It's usually an E flat major. <laughs> A half step higher but we're gonna play it in our favorite key on the cello on the on all string instruments uh, these bowed string instruments D major open D fourth finger D just like you become accustomed with getting your hand ready so we're gonna start from the beginning print out the sheet music I emailed you as well and we'll go through it third finger Open D. Try not to push your sound very much. Third finger, fourth finger. Here's an extension. Extended four. This next part, it, you already know half the song, by the way. This next part is a, a bit briefer, but it does have some bigger challenges in it. Uh, first of all, keep your third finger down, right here. Keep your fourth finger down. You can still see how I'm still keeping my left hand on the D string. And here we're going to swap out our finger, third finger for a second finger. Still an F sharp. And we're doing that to play this G sharp fourth finger really naturally. And the first finger boop, goes back to extended hand shape. Play that with a third finger or second finger extended C sharp. This C sharp that we need to swap with our first finger C to second position. So we can play a 4E. And then it's just like the melody at the beginning. And the reason I chose this song is because we're going to talk about chords and voicings and being able to change the chords how people do that. Extended four. Let's play the whole song. You can play it along with me. I'm going to play some chordal tones so you can play the melody. One, two, letter A, go.
going to play this together on Tuesday, give you a little head start to practice it and get the melody down, and then you'll, we can talk about the chords and uh, make sense of it. Um, all right. I'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks, y'all.